There exists a group in our society who is confused about visiting the shrines of friends of Allah. And that's all because of shaitanic whispers. Remove such shaitanic whispers from your mind. Imam Shafi'i visited the shrine of Imam Azam Abu Hanifa. I'm talking about 150, 200 or 300 after Hijri. And the time I'm talking about that goes back to 1200 years approximately talking about 1300 years ago and if you want me to talk about the time of the Prophet then listen after the apparent demise of the Prophet a true devotee comes in the blessed court and requests O Prophet of Allah I have read this in Quran and if when they do injustice to their own souls then O oh, beloved they should come to your august court therefore I have come to your court even Sahaba visit the blessed shrine of Prophet These shrines of Holiya are the source of attaining spiritual radiance and luminosity. Okay, Allah forbid, if any un-Islamic traditions are existing there, such traditions should be eliminated immediately. But the respect of the shrines of Awliya Allah, their blessings and spiritual radiance was there, is there and will remain until the day of judgment. Yes, because they are pious people of Allah. Their blessed bodies are there. This is the status of Awliya. If a fly comes and sits on our nose, will we remove the fly or cut our nose? If we go and pay visit to the shrines of Awliya Allah, friends of Allah, we notice certain traditions which are not right and that's because of ignorance. They should be eliminated. It's lack of knowledge. We need to bring awareness. Some people just see evil. This is wrong, that is wrong. Instead of talking about wrong, if you have fear of Allah, go and rectify those individuals. Invite them towards good. Just get this out of your mind that nothing will change. Things will change. With positive intention. I would like to address those group of people who just look at evil because of whispers of shaitan. They should pay a visit to the same shrine. Pay a visit to the shrine of friends of Allah and say, Oh Allah, I've come to the shrine of your friend and asking dua from you. Grant me ability to eradicate un-Islamic traditions from here. You will notice the blessings of this pious individual. Alhamdulillah, Dawat Islami doesn't only talk. Remember, Dawat Islami doesn't only talk, it is a practical organization. Dawat Islami has created a proper department of shrines of Awliya. Yes, this department is more active on Aras and on other such occasions. And this is the blessings of my Shaykh Tariqat, Amir of Ahl Sunnah. Blessings of Imam Ahmad Rida Khan Ali Rahmatur Rahman. A proper way forward is designed with consultation of Muftiyani Kiram, scholars of Islam, and responsibles of Dawati Islami. Our preachers are dedicated in order to teach how to pay visit to the shrines and how to protect oneself and others from certain ill practices, how to become punctual in prayers. It is taught there that the place you're paying visit in order to seek blessings, in order to offer Fatiha, in order to seek the pleasure and closeness of Allah wa ta'ala, their seerah and their character is like this. They used to offer Salah, they used to recite Quran, they would observe fast, they were truthful and had fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. Their heart was filled with the love of Prophet alayhi salatu was salam. Follow them to get their blessings. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel.